Assalamu alaikum. This is the remarkable story of Jason, who is now known as Jamil. His journey to Islam began in a way he never expected, initially filled with doubt, skepticism, and disbelief. Jamil's path is one of profound transformation, where he wrestled with conflicting emotions between his heart and mind. In the end, he took a courageous leap of faith, embracing a new way of life that would forever change him. Assalamu alaikum, my name is Jason. Uh, my Islamic name is Jamil. I've been a revert for approximately 10 years. I'm Chinese background. I had a negative position about all religions. And I was arrogant as well. I was, I was like, I don't need a man-made religion to tell me what to do, what not to do. Like many people, Jamil's understanding of Islam was deeply shaped by global events and the portrayals he encountered in the media. To him, Islam was often linked to images of violence, extremism, and fear, particularly in the aftermath of events like 9-11. These negative associations fueled his misconceptions, creating a barrier between him and the true essence of the religion, which he had yet to discover. Out of all the religions, the religion that I had the most negative perceptions about was Islam. You know, 9-11, bin Laden, extremism, and terrorism. That was my perception of, of uh, Islam. Despite holding strong and critical views about Islam, Jamil had friends who were Muslim. Among them, one friend recognized a spark of potential for change within him. This friend took it upon himself to share insights and knowledge about Islam with Jamil. Initially, their conversations seemed to make little impact, as Jamil remained resistant to the ideas presented. One day I experienced a miracle, and this was like after a, a brother um, started giving doubt to me on and off, on and off. Um, at that time I wasn't receptive. One day I had dinner with him, and I still remember that, that day clearly, like, I still had the same attitude. Um, don't talk to me about religion, don't talk to me about Islam, don't talk to me about God. But then, Jamil had an encounter that would shift his perspective forever. One evening, he was invited to dinner with his friend and another brother. What he didn't realize was that this dinner would be the turning point in his life. Then I meet another brother for the first time at that dinner. And uh, that was a, a life-changing moment because like the, this second brother that I meet for the first time, the way he gave down was very different compared to the first brother. And it actually got me thinking. And I was thinking, even though I was trying to avoid Islam as much as possible, I was thinking, what this guy is saying, it makes, Islam just started to make logical sense. You know, what, what, what this guy is saying, it, he's speaking the truth. That night, Jamil's resistance to Islam crumbled. His heart opened, and just a few hours after dinner, he took his shahada, the declaration of faith. But the journey wasn't easy, and as with all life-changing decisions, doubts quickly followed. And then, I took my shahada afterwards, um, a couple hours after, after dinner. And I still clearly remember the, uh, the whiswas, the, the whispering. Um, and the shaitan was whispering things like, did you do the right thing taking the shahada? You know, you don't have to be a Muslim. You don't have to pray five times a day. It's much easier being an atheist. In his moment of doubt, Jamil turned to the Quran. What he found was nothing short of a miracle. I remember opening the Quran to any page. And the first verse that I read in the Quran was, how many more signs do you need? And I remember when I, when I read a bit more in the Quran, it said, How many more signs do you need? You have been warned! Exclamation mark. And when I read that, that was, that was a miracle. I, I can't describe it. it. It shook me up so much. And that was exactly what I, what I needed. With his newfound faith came the need for difficult sacrifices. At the time, Jamil was in a relationship that wasn't compatible with his beliefs. Breaking it off was one of the hardest things he had to do. I had a girlfriend when I was uh, around that time. Um, and it's not something that I'm proud of, but you know, after I, I, I became Muslim, I knew that I had, to, I had to give it up. It was very hard. In fact, I, I actually tried to I actually tried to give her dower and, and tried to invite her to, um, to Islam as well. You know, just like a lot of other people, like a lot of negative impressions about Islam and terrorism, extremism. Oh, why did you become Muslim? You know, Muslims do this and that and blah, blah, blah. Um, 
Yeah, so I was hopeful that, you know, if she if she was receptive and became Muslim, inshallah, yeah, maybe we can get married, but that, that wasn't meant to be. But yeah, it was it was a very hard conversation. I broke down in tears. Um, it was it was very, very hard. Another major change was giving up pork, something that had been a staple in his life. As a Chinese man, Jamil grew up eating barbecue pork, roast pork, bacon, all forbidden in Islam. But to his surprise, this sacrifice wasn't as hard as he expected. Chinese love pork. Um, you know, they growing up, I used to eat. I used to uh, eat a lot of uh, pork, um, barbecue pork, roast pork, um, bacon. You know, all that sort of stuff. Um, and alhamdulillah, like it, it wasn't. It wasn't hard to to give it up. Jamil's story is a testament to the power of faith, logic, and perseverance. From doubt to certainty, his journey to Islam shows us that sometimes the path to truth isn't the one we expect, but it's always the one we need. Subhanallah.